Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Shalonda and this is Saving with Shalonda. Hello to all my returning subscribers and welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you guys for being here. I'm coming on to do my weekly um, budget with me. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, please keep on watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Go ahead and smash the like button because you're going to like and you're going to love this video. Be sure to leave me some comments below. Be sure to watch the ads that play throughout the video and share the video. All right, so um, I'll be um, budgeting my side hustle income, which is going to be my SE income for this week, guys. Okay, so I backdated my payday sheet to yesterday's day because I was trying to do my budget with me yesterday, but, you know, technical technical difficulties. But we're here today this morning, okay? So uh, Etsy, I usually pay myself $500 a week, okay? So thank you guys for your continued support over on Etsy. Thank you for leaving um, wonderful, wonderful reviews on my shop. I'm glad you guys are loving my products and that they are helping. So I love the testimonials and everything like that that I see on Etsy or what you have told me in the comments on my videos or anything like that. So thank you for your continued support on Etsy and here on YouTube. Thank you for liking my videos. Thank you for watching, commenting, interacting, whatever you want to call it on over here on YouTube, thank you for your support, guys. It means the world to me, all right? So like I said, it's the same every week, guys, for the most part, unless we get lucky and come into some more money, but we're going to just stay with $500. We want to get beside ourselves, but that's enough. Like I said, I ain't got nothing else to do, y'all. I, I don't need no more money than that to play with, okay? <laughs> so here we go. Let's do our... Um, Cash envelopes. This section here says bills, but like I said, I usually do excess out or put labels on there to do my cash envelopes, guys. I don't do any, if you're new here, I don't do any bills on my channel because all of my bills are on auto draft for my main job and my main, you know, full time job pays my, my real bills. Okay, guys. <laughs> so all we do on my channel is um, budget my side hustle income. So I'll show you the ways in which I do that. And it's primarily, primarily used for savings. Uh, state like savings challenges um, and to uh, fund my sinking funds. Okay. So here we, and cash envelopes. So let's see, um, cash envelopes. So groceries, um, we got gas, household supplies, uh, my envelope for my personal spending, uh, Jordan, that's my son. And then, um, we got takeout. Giving and miscellaneous. All right. So groceries gets one hundred dollars a week. Gas gets twenty. Household twenty as well. I get twenty. Jordan gets twenty. Twenty five for takeout, five for giving, and then ten for miscellaneous. That should total 220, I believe, as it's the same almost every week. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, and it is 220, guys. I'm gonna put the total there. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna take the my total income, which is 500 minus the 220. And that leaves me 280 to uh, for my savings challenges. I'm gonna put that into the box here. And usually I'll give you a breakdown of what my game schedule is going to be for this week in case you follow along with my game play. Okay. So um, we're going to do, I'm going to put my, I'm going to put heat. So the games in my book as a line item here. I'll come back to that to see what I'll be saving. Okay. Um, so we're going to put saving with Shalonda Sunday. Always gets gets $50, that's $20 for the interactive component, and then $30 for me to play other games, okay? Uh, Monday is self-care, and that's 25, and that's a save to spend, so I save $25 weekly so that I can um, save $100 a month to spend on myself the following month, okay? <laughs> Okay, $2 Tuesday is $10, and that is when I show you how to play all of my games um, low income, okay, for $10. Then we have uh, Roll With a Wednesday. Okay, and we do $25 there, and that's when I um, play my um, DIY um, kits um, from my Etsy shop. 
So the digital downloadable kits, I play one of those every Wednesday at $25 a piece. So try to show them to love and show you what offerings I have in my shop to help you save. And then on Thursday, we do a casino cash, which we, we leave as a set, separate item, even though it's in the heat books. And that's going to be $40 there. Okay. And so whatever total we have left is what we're going to have left for the heat. So let's see, $280. Minus 40, minus 25, minus 10, minus 25, minus 50. Okay, again, that leaves 130 for a heat. And so that's going to be making my um, gains for sinking funds. Um, the bingo and my signature games, okay? So usually I do 50, 50, 30, okay? That's usually my split for those, so 50, 50, 30 around there, okay? So that is what we'll do, guys. So that is my budget for the week for the game. So let's go come up here and clear this out. So our total income for the week is 500. No bills here, okay? So that still leaves us 500. We had cash envelopes of 220, so 220 goes here, okay? So then, we'll, like I said, we'll do the 500. Oops. Minus the 220, and that puts 280 here. And then we do, um, we have savings, bot line item of 280. From that 280 takes us down to zero, and then zero base budget. We're gonna put, just do that for the debt payments there because when, when all the money from each from the month gets added um, to our sinking funds and we do a debt and most of, so most of the money goes to debt guys, okay? <laughs> or a great allocation of it monthly goes to debt, which we're happy about because that's what we want to get rid of guys, okay? So that is that. So that is my budget guys for the most part for the week. Not too shabby. It's, it's like I said, basically the same every week. So now it's time to uh, count this money. And of course, y'all know we're going to play a few of my um, games from my book to stuff my cash envelopes, okay? <laughs> but let's count our money first and make sure it's all here. We got 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85, 90. I'm missing something. Yeah, hold on. Here it is. <laughs> Let me count that again. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Let me get my binder again. Here it is. Hold on. Oh, here it is, guys. All right, so let me do that one more time. So that's four, <laughs> 20, 40, <laughs> 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, five. All right, we got it right, guys. We got it right. See, this is real life, guys. Try to film videos, you know. It ain't always perfect, you know. But it is what it is, but the money is there, and that's the important thing. All right, so like I said, we're going to go ahead and um, get ready to stuff our um, wallet, okay? So we're going um, to do 100 for groceries, guys, okay? And then we're going to play our grocery games first. We didn't play them last week, so I definitely want to play my grocery games, okay? <laughs> Because y'all know how I feel about my games, guys. Y'all know how I feel. I can't wait to get here and play. Like I said, we don't do any, um, when we do the cash envelope games, we don't do any tracking, okay? Because we're like spending the money, actually. All right, so we're going to pull our tracker out, our grocery list. Try to get it all in there for you. All right. So we at the grocery store, y'all. Yeah. Let's, let's do a uh, farmer's market first. Let's do farmer's market first. All right, so the goal here, guys, is let me bring this close. I'm wearing my dice roller, okay? Let's see. We need a 10-sided die. 
All right, so for the farmer's market, guys, we're going to, um, the goal here is to get our fruits and we're going to roll a 10-sided die and the die is going to tell us, uh, we're we going to keep rolling until we get a 10. Once we get a 10, the shopping trip is over. So whatever amount we roll, that's the item we're going to add to our um, bag, okay? So we get pears, we roll a three, we get some pears and we're going to save 75 cents, Okay off our budget. So let's see what we get, okay? I got my calculator off to the side, so right here. Okay, so the first thing we got was watermelon. So that's 25 cents. So we go again, two. We got grapefruit, 50 cents. Six is eggplant, uh, 50 cents. That added up right here, 50 cents. 50 cent, then we got grapefruit, 50 cent, and then we got uh, watermelon, 25. Okay, there we go. Oh, we are, our shopping trip is already over, guys. We got a zero already. <laughs> so our first trip is 125, guys. So we're gonna add that over to our bag here, 125. And I'm gonna do a couple more trips. because that, that was quick, guys, let's go again. Let's clear our calculator. All right, let's go. Three, we got pears, 75 cents. It's over already, guys. Okay. <laughs> we got the two dollars already, guys. We got two. Okay. Let's go again. Okay. Eight. These are quick trips, guys. Let's see. One. Oh. <laughs> Y'all me and me throwing these dice, child. Okay, hold on. Let me try to get this dice. Oh look. All right. <laughs> So we have what we get one we we have avocado yeah okay here we go four four is pineapple so that's another dollar okay one is watermelon twenty five cent so two fit two twenty five okay what else we got oh these are quick trips guys I'm just marking over these guys because I'm out of room I'm just writing out my totals down. So we up to 225, 425 already. Let's go one more time. <laughs> Cause these are quick. Look, we didn't even get, get nothing, y'all. Okay. <laughs> Four. Okay, let's do one. And then we got six is eggplant. So that's gonna be 50 cent. Okay. Let's see. Eight avocado, a dollar. Six is a plant. I just put it in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm clowning out. Dollar. We gonna go there. Two fifty. All right. Eight is avocado. A dollar. My calculator acting up, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Six is eggplant. We gonna roll till we get a zero, guys. Four. All right, six is eggplant. Eight is avocado. Nine is bananas. One is watermelon for 25 cents. Seven is squash. Now we get some more guys, six, <laughs> okay. Four is pineapple, okay, a dollar. More watermelon for 25 cents. Okay, now we got a zero, now our game is officially over, okay? So that was an $8 trip. So all in all, guys, we spent $8 plus $2.25 for our, one of our trips. One of our trips was zero, we didn't even get started. And then our uh, other two trips were 70, was 75 cents plus $1.25. And that is a total of $12.25, okay? for our trip at the farmer's market. So we're gonna put our total up here so we know what we got left. Okay, 12.25 for the farmer's market. So we're gonna take 100 minus 12.25. That leaves us 87.75 for the grocery store. Okay, so, so let's go shopping now. <laughs> farmer's market was not nice to us today, guys. It really wasn't, it was crazy, okay? But here we go, nonetheless. All right, let me try to see if y'all can see all this. 
Maybe I'm, I'm gonna roll on the thing up there. I put it up here, y'all can still see. Okay. So we need our colored dice and the ten sided dice as well, and we're going to roll for our um, item, grocery item, and then we're gonna mark it down. If the gro grocery item is already crossed off the list, guys, we are going to um, save uh, five dollars from our grocery total. Like this, we're just gonna mark it off. So, like I said, as you know, as you play more, more of the game, more and more stuff is gonna be unavailable. You're gonna leave with less and less from the grocery store. Okay. So here we go. We got green number nine. Green number nine is here and it's unavailable. It's already taken. So we start already starting off with nothing, okay? But it's going to cost us $5 of our grocery budget, okay? Let's go again. Let's see, can we get something? Four, green number four. Another item, guys, <laughs> that we not get nothing of, okay? Let's see, can we get some? I hope we can get some yellow eight. Okay, here, here we got something, y'all. So eight. Okay, so we got uh, chicken legs. Okay, and that's gonna be eight dollars. So we're right now chicken legs on our list. Okay. Let's see, orange number three was cheese, which is marked out already. So again. That's going to cost us $5 that we don't get to spend, for real. Let's see. Let's, okay, two more turns. Orange number four. Gone. Okay. We only got one item so far, y'all. This is terrible, terrible. All right, here we go. Orange number nine. <laughs> y'all, we get nothing. We don't get anything to eat, okay? Here we go. <laughs> So here we go. So we only, we had one, two, three, four, five, twenty-five plus eight. Okay, here we go. So we spent thirty-three dollars, guys, and we only was able to get chicken legs. Okay, so this is like inflation, guys. Like when prices be skyrocketing at the store, it's like what I get for thirty-three dollars, or what I spend my money on. This 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 is what happens, guys, like that. Okay, <laughs> so that's what this is emulating. Okay, let's do let's do another round, y'all, because we didn't get anything. Let's <laughs> Let's see, red number nine, guys. Okay, we got a muffin. Okay, so there we go. We got a chocolate chip muffin. So let's put a muffin. I'm glad we got something, guys. And it's worth nine dollars. Okay. Let's see, we got blue number two. That's corn. It's out of there, so we don't. We it's out of stock. So we gotta pay five dollars to our total. Purple number six. Ah, the fruit snacks, gone, out of stock. But it's gonna cost us $5 of our budget, okay? <laughs> Purple number one, the chips are gone, guys. Again, nothing. Let's see. Let me roll that again. Blue number five, eggplant, gone, guys. <laughs> Terrible, terrible, terrible. Okay, green number three. Oh, we got something. What is that? Oatmeal. Okay, oatmeal. And then we cross it off. Oatmeal. For um, $3. Oatmeal. Okay. And so we spent one, two, three, four, twenty nine, thirty two. 32 bucks, guys. Do I think I, do we can, can we get away with one more? We probably can get away with one more trip. Let's. <laughs> Now I'm in here, y'all, yeah, because they made me mad and it made me mad, yeah. Okay. All right. So we're going to come over to our shopping cart over here. We're going to put 30, our first trip was $33. Okay. Our second trip was $32. And then, so we're going to take our, for our last cart, we're going to put our money in. Let's see, $87.75 minus our, what well, we spent, $33 minus $32. That leaves us $22.75 to end our trip, okay? So that's how you play it, guys. That's how you play the grocery list. Well, hopefully, better luck next time, guys. We'll, we'll see what happens. I might just have to clear this board off and start over, y'all. Because <laughs> we need some food. We hungry over here. We hungry, okay? <laughs> but that was fun. Love, love, love. All right, the next game is um, the Got Gas. It's uh, $20. We can play Got Gas real quick. All 
All right. So you're going to use an um, eight-sided die and a color die to roll for your gas. Okay. And then, like I said, you can use, like I said, I'll use the prop money to show you how to play if you were actually saving this for a sinking fund, guys. Two, four, six, eight, ten. You can play the grocery game as a sinking fund game as well. You know, but I wasn't doing that. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's my $20 budget. So let's see how we'll play this, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to um, roll the color dice is gonna tell us what color gas tank and the um, number dice is gonna tell us what number, okay? Let's mark off. Okay, we got yellow number seven. So we'll mark off a number uh, seven yellow gas tank like that. And then we'll apply $7 of our money to our sinking fund if we had one, okay? There we go. Let's go again. Roll that again. Okay, we got red number two. Okay, so we'll come to this gas tank here. There's a red number two. And we'll save two dollars. Yellow number three. We got a number three left. No number three left on yellow. So let's roll for another number for no yellow. Let's see. Two. We could do a two. Okay. Another two dollars there. Let's go again. Yellow number three. Okay, we're still on yellow. No threes are left gone. Let's see what else we can get. Six. Yellow number six is here. Okay, so we got six dollars. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and we only got three dollars left now of our gas budget. So let's just take a three dollar tank and roll for our just a color now. Okay, we got green. Okay, the greens are gone. Let's see what else we can get. Red, okay, we're gonna apply it to one of the red threes like that. And then there we go, this is our final $3. So now we've applied all $20 to our uh, gas cash envelope fund or sinking fund if we have one, guys. But that's how you play it as a um, sinking fund game, okay? So on to our next category to stuff for our wallet, guys. I'm going to just stuff household this week because we played it last week. Okay. We have a cleanup woman. Let's see. Let's see. I get $20 as well. Don't want to play mines, guys. Let's see. Yeah, we'll play some of my games. Let's go ahead. Now let's do the vending machine. Do a couple of the um, games for me I got set up. Okay. So let's... So for the vending machine, we're going to roll. We're going to roll one um, dice to tell us if it's going to be even or odd, guys. You can roll two. Here we go. We'll do two. We got nine. So this is odd. So that's for one snack. So then we roll our color dice to see what snack we get, guys. Okay, we get the blue snack, which is the bottle of water. And it is worth $2. So we'll save $2 of our $20 money. Okay. Let's see. Let's roll again. We roll our two dice for even or odd to tell us how many snacks we get. We get two snacks this time, okay? So here we go. We got green, which is cookies, okay? And these are worth $3. So $3 of our personal spending money. And then our next snack will be orange. And those will be uh, for like cheeses, crackers, and those are worth a dollar, okay? So we have our snacks, okay? And then let's go, let's play a little bit of the red bottoms. We're going to, um, we're gonna save a dollar for red bottoms and then $2 for any other color for even or odd guys. Okay, so if we get an um, odd, we're gonna save a dollar and then and color the shoes red. And then um, if we get even, we'll save $2 and uh, color the shoes in the other color, the bottoms of the shoes, okay? And this is the save, you know, for personal spending money or um, save up for some red bottoms, guys, or like a shopping sinking fund, if, if you will, okay? So here we go. Even, okay? So we're gonna do $2 of our personal spending money and then we're going to color, we can color the bottom of the shoes any color. And we'll do pink on those, okay? Even again, so another two dollars. Here we 
we get some red bottom. There we go. We got a pair of red bottoms, yeah. There we go. Uh, and then we get a pair of red bottoms. So we are five dollars closer to getting us a pair of red bottoms, guys. Okay. <laughs> now let's do one more. Let's do one more. Hold on. Okay, another dollar. So another pair of red bottoms. Okay. I think I'm gonna do one more. Okay, even. So any other color. Well, let's do purple. And then, like I said, when you're done, guys, you're gonna go back and count up all your red bottoms. One, two, three, four. And then save um, whatever amount you want, maybe like another dollar for each pair you collect. Okay, to add to your shopping fund, okay? When you finish your challenge to, you know, beef it up a little bit more, okay? And then we're going to play Nailed It with our last few dollars, okay? To get our nails done, girls, okay? For those of you who like nails. <laughs> yeah, now I work, so I can't be having these nails. You know, they, they get in my way with working with my packages and stuff, guys, okay? <laughs> so here we go, the... um. The color dye is going to tell us what color, and then the um, light dye is going to tell us. Um, hope I got all these markers on the table. Yeah, okay. <laughs> How many nails the color in? Okay. Okay, we got green, guys. Okay. So we're going to color one nail on the green hand. Let me color that one better green. And it's going to be $1, guys. All right, let's go again. Orange, even. That's going to be two nails on the orange hand. Okay. Nails all messed up. What's going on here? <laughs> all right, let's see. Got to put my dollars. Orange. We're out of the orange now, but we're going to go to color in an um, orange and do one uh, for our tip down here. Okay, because the orange got our, her full set already. All right, we got $2 left. What can we do here? Green. Green gets a dollar. So one nail on the green hand. All right, and we got $1 left. So we're going to go ahead and um, just color in for a tip here. So the color we get yellow. So this is our final dollar in yellow. All right, we spent our personal spending money. Perfect. All right, back to our wallet. Let's go ahead and stuff Jordan's envelope is next. He gets $20 as well. All right, let's see. We could do Jordan's zoo pass real quick because it's almost completed, okay? So we are just rolling and then um, dice and color lines up similar to nailed it. So whatever color and then whatever is past the number you roll on. Okay, orange number one is already completed. We do need the number five still though. So I guess we'll just take the number five out for the final one here. Okay, for orange. So like I said, this would be $5 for towards that. Like I said, you can also use this as like a family fun type envelope or sinking fund type situation. Red number four. It lines up to red four. Okay, so that'd be four dollars. Grab four bucks. Yellow number four. We only have one yellow left and that's three. Let's roll for that six and we get three. And we roll with you guys. There we go. All right. So three more dollars there. Okay. And we can go again. Let's see. Green number one. All the greens are gone, guys. All the yellows are gone. Okay. We got blue and red. All the purple. All the oranges are gone. Blue and red, guys. Let's see. Blue and red. Okay, purple is gone. Red number four. Okay, we can do three. Let's roll again for three. We need a three or a five. Five. 
Okay, let's see what you got. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Now, we only got $3 left, y'all. So, I think we better just go ahead and take this three out because these ain't going to help. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we just going to take these last three out right here, guys. Okay. And then we come back. We got $6 left on the blue. And we can finish this challenge here. And then we'll just give Jordan some snacks. <laughs> go to the snack machine for him. So that's his money. That's how you spend it, guys, for the sinking funds, okay? And then let's see what else we got next. Takeout gets $25, guys. Okay. I think I'm... I think I'm gonna skip takeout. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna skip takeout today. Giving gets five. And then we'll end it with a Sudoku, guys. We'll play Sudoku. And then miscellaneous gets 10. And we'll just play uh, five dollars on a Sudoku for, with the giving money. Okay, so my cash wallet has been stuffed, guys, by the way. But we'll play this final game. So we can close it out, okay? <laughs> so uh what we're gonna do here guys is we're going to um roll the dice okay this is going to tell us the color of the Sudoku puzzle and then this is going to tell us um you can also spin the wheel for your color Sudoku board as well that's why it's called spinner spinner roll Sudoku Sudoku <laughs> if I, I don't know if i'm saying that right lady that had mentioned something about <laughs> Sudoku Sudoku Cool. <laughs> Whatever, guys. Okay. <laughs> Whatever it's supposed to be, Sudoku. Okay. But you can uh, spin a roll for your color board. Okay. Let's spin for our first color. Ooh. There we go. We got a purple board. Okay. Purple Sudoku board. And then we're going to roll this die for the puzzle. Two puzzle two. Then we're going to roll for one of these numbers, guys. Okay, three. We don't have a three. We keep rolling. Four, five, or six. Six. Okay. And we get four rolls per dollar. So here we go. So we got about 20 rolls, y'all. Okay, here we go. This is our second roll. I should do Let me do this. Okay, purple puzzle one. Okay. Two. Okay, there we go. Roll number three. Blue puzzle three. Number ain't no two in there. Let's see one. Okay, this is our fourth row for the first dollar. Puzzle five. One, two, three, four, five. And two. No two. Three. Okay, that's our first dollar. Okay. So we'll go again. Okay, blue number one, puzzle. No. Blue puzzle three, number two, no two, two again, three, four, we need one or five. Then I'm gonna say on a five, yeah, here we go, come on. One or five, five, goodness, <laughs> okay. So we're on our second dollar, so that was row number one. Purple board six. Six, okay, two. This is three. Four, okay, so that's a dollar. Go we'll again. Purple three, okay. Two. Number two, one or five. Oh, that was supposed to be purple, guys. Five, okay. Oh, this is supposed to be purple. <laughs> My bad. Colorblind, guys. Okay, so that's number three. This is our last row for that dollar. Let's see. Orange. Six. Okay, three. There we go. I probably took too many rolls, y'all. I'm just put a dollar up there. <laughs> and then, like I said, when you eventually, like, clear up a whole Sudoku like this guy, this is only needs one more where you pay an additional dollar, guys. So, let's see. Blue. I wonder, can we finish one today? We, oh, here we go. We're going to finish this one today, okay? So, here we go. We just need to roll out one, guys. There we go. 
All right, so now we pay a dollar and we still got 75 cents left in this dollar, guys. I don't know why I got my chips up here. <laughs> but we get three more rolls, okay, in this final dollar, okay. Let's see, orange four here. Five. Okay, two rolls, yellow three. Two, okay, and this is our final. Okay, red number two, okay. Five, I need a one or a two. Here we go. All right, so that's how you play it, guys, okay? So I put $5 into that game to show you how to play it, all right? Because I needed some air time. I like this game. <laughs> so like I said, you can spin or roll for your color, guys, depending on what you want to do. All right, so there we go, $5. But that's how you play. And then I'll just go ahead and close this out by um, adding the money to my, the remaining money over to my uh, savings challenge minder. Okay, we should have 280, I believe. 1, 2, 20, 40, 50, 60, 5, 70. Why is this short, guys? What am I missing? Check my wallet when I put it here, guys. <laughs> All right, here, that fell on the floor, guys. I got it. All right, so 100, 200, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. That's not right. <laughs> 50, 60, 70. 100, 200, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. What can I count today, guys? What's going on with me? But y'all know I ain't about to restart this video, okay? <laughs> So this goes into my binder, guys, just like that, and we are done. All right, so if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big, um, big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, please um, leave me some comments below. Um, be sure to watch the ads that play directly after the video and share the video. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Oh, before I go, guys, let me uh, show you. Um, we're playing bingo tonight, guys, okay? <laughs> So if you haven't done so already, you still got time. It's early in the morning when this video probably is going to air. You still got time to print out your bingo stuff, okay, today. Bingo tonight at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. There's your bingo board. Rules for bingo. Your uh, play playlist there. Call sheet. And then print you off a page or two of bingo cards, whatever ones you want to print. And I'll see you at 8 o'clock if you want to play and bring some money, all right? So we can save. All right, I'm done. Bye.